Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to the next 20 bunch of my all-time favorite movies 2024 edition. Have you guys missed the first 20 set which is 100 to 81 I think it is. I don't know math. Um, check out the last video. I'll link it up here but now we're gonna talk about the next one. We're gonna cruise through it just like I did with the first one just because it is late y'all. It is Friday. I went to work. I went to an event with my cousin. She was up for teacher of the year. And I was like, you know what? I don't really feel like dressing up. Well, not really dressing up, but you know, like, I still have my name back. <laughs> I still have it on. I don't feel like putting on a face tomorrow. I just want to be in my pajamas like a troll because I am a troll. This is catfish me right here. Just like I did the last time, just kind of update because y'all know, or if you guys are new, I'm kind of taking a break from YouTube right now. And also, we're going to ignore my one now. All my other nails have come off and this one just refuses to come up. But we're going to ignore it, okay? No need to acknowledge it. I know it's there. Okay, we're gonna give a little update first. I'm not saying it's gonna be cruising, but like I said, I'm not really coming on here for a while. So I've really been telling you a lot of stuff. So I finished the originals. I think I said that in the last one. I can't remember. I started What We Do in the Shadows. I'm on season two. I am loving it. I saw the movie for the first time a couple years ago. It was part of my 13 Nights of Fright. I'll link that here if you want to hear my thoughts about it, but just know I loved it. And if you love that movie, then maybe you'll love the show as well. It's a series. There's like five seasons, I think, so far. Books. I finished all the books. That I was talking about last time they're done with. The Alliance series oh, it's probably one of my favorite series so far. Absolutely adore it. Nero definitely is my favorite and then Hans. Hans would have been first but he they, there was a word that was said that gives me the ick and I said no. But if you want to follow me like as far as book stuff follow me on TikTok. Here is my TikTok. It's where I've been doing my book stuff but we're I know you see a stack of books maybe but let me let me let me let you know finished um a court of rings in ruin or echo war like this big bad boy okay i finished this one audio and i just started the next one it's a tiny little one oops i saw it attack me a little bit um it's supposed to be a nice little like cute little story so we're doing it's like a three hour audio book so i started this one my kindle i had to think about it what what am i doing where uh my kindle i am reading the teacher but i do have the physical one and don't at me okay because if you know you know if you're a reader i can have the book and i can also listen to it but then like you know kindle physically reading the seven year slip this is where i'm at here i don't even know where i'm at on the teacher i just started that one there kindle but this is where i'm at here i've been annotating it just a little bit uh, we're just highlighting not really like too much annotation but this one definitely gives me um the lake house vibes with Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves uh but instead of a lake house it's an apartment like a magical apartment you have jumped forward you are in the right place I'm just not prepared but y'all yeah, know math is not my strong suit 80 right yes could we finish that one to 60 I don't know math so 80 to 61 is what we're doing. We're going to cruise through this, okay? Like I said, because it's late. It's like 9.30, y'all, on a Friday. I ain't about that late night life. So we ended it with the Denzel movie with Man on Fire. We're going to start it up with the Denzel movie. So this is a 2002 movie. And you know what Denzel ain't going to do? He is not going to bury his son. His son is going to bury him. It's going to be John Q. Number 79 came out in also in 2002, y'all. I am terrible with years and directors and everything. So don't expect that from me. Also, before we do get started, okay, like I said, let me hear, hear me out, y'all. This is my video, okay? This is my list. These are my movies that I love. Don't judge me for what I love, okay? Don't hate me because I don't love what you love. You love what you love and I let me, let me, let me love what I love, okay? It's not going to be the same, all right? So if you are looking for the same movies that you see everywhere, like all the classics, all the greats, all the IMBD movies, then you need to go and watch yourself another video because that's not what's going to happen here. Mm-mm. No. No, sir. Look at that. We already started off with John Q. And I already heard, if y'all hadn't seen the last video, Man on Fire was also on there. You don't tend to see those a lot on top 100 lists, okay? But you know who's? You saw it on mine. You see here. It's happening here. Yep. Because I, I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Movies, books, subjective. Everybody is entitled to like and dislike what they don't. What they want and don't. Y'all know, okay? Y'all know the drill when it comes. But let's come back over here to 2002's 
a movie that I also adore and this is boyfriend number one for me. So my husband is Johnny Depp and my number one boyfriend is Eminem. So this could be eight mile. Mom spaghetti. I want to go eat some mom spaghetti. Actually, I don't know because I heard it wasn't that great. Okay, so we're going to move on and we're going to go to some zombies. Zombie. We're going to 2004. Okay, and it's going to be a funny movie, right? It's part of like a trilogy and officially thing, but this is my favorite. I don't really like the other ones. Uh, we're talking about Son of the Dead. You know, there's a zombie apocalypse. Where are we going to go? We're going to go to the pub. Okay, well, that seems perfectly reasonable. 77, and this is guess what year? 2019. And if you are first seeing this movie, this movie, this video for the first time here, I do have quite a few 2019 movies. Also, it has come to my attention per one of my friends that said the one thing that he learned about my list is that apparently I do not like old movies. I didn't realize that. I did not not purposely not put old, older movies. I know I don't like like old 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 movies like I said like the classic like I like them. I appreciate them. Wonderful right? If we were doing a list of the greatest movies of all time yes those movies would be there. But number 77 is not really a good time. It is like I am stressed. You know what movie almost did this to me yesterday when I went to go see Challengers? I was like that stressed like oh my god what's gonna happen here okay? But nothing has ever got me as stressed as the end of this one little movie with one Adam Sandler and that's Uncut Gems. Yeah I was literally on my gym seat. I was about to stand up. I mean I think I was like for real legit sweat number 76 because like I said we we're we going through this list and guess what we have a nice little classic movie here uh so Nate we're talking about 1984 and you're probably like no that doesn't help because it needs to go further down whatever mind your business 1984 we have let me just tell y'all let me just tell y'all about this movie okay because like I have grief with it because I wish I wish one of my sisters will dare I say dare get married on my birthday oh honey no no 16 candles <laughs> is where i'm going here number 75 we're gonna talk tom hanks it's gonna be one of quite a few tom hanks movies I love me so tom hanks. okay i love it i don't think i've ever really cared much for a mouse okay i really haven't but damn mr jingles i adore the Green Mile. Oh my gosh, you're so good. I cry every single time. Every single time I watch this movie, I cry. Going on to number 74. This is a 2012 movie. This is based on a true story. Yeah, I know, like I said last time, I love me based on true stories. Oh, they're like, I just love it. I, I don't care how like realistic it is. I just adore it. Usually, I, I don't know. I don't know how many true based on true stories movies I have on here. I have I know I have a lot. But this one was the first time I recall seeing Tom Holland in. This is The Impossible. It takes place in like 2004, um, like December, like for Christmas, New Year's, when that um, tsunami hit in Thailand and like the family's trying to reunite. I think I cry in this movie as well. <laughs> I cry a lot in movies, not in real life. Like I hold up all my emotions in real life and then when I watch a movie and like I like to cleanse my soul because I hold it all in but like in a movie I let it all come out okay so we're gonna go back into time okay we're gonna go back we're gonna do a little bit of Danielson we're going to the 80s 1987 okay and you know what we're not gonna do you know who's not in that corner over there baby baby ain't in that corner Mm -hmm. There's some dirty dancing happening here. Uh, dirty dancing was another one that I was just like, I don't know, do I want you to do I not know? Sick girl. Every time that damn movie comes out, you know you cannot not not watch it. I love it. But when we're gonna jump forward, okay, we're going to number 72. Back to what year is that once again? 29 days. This is a very raunchy comedy. I love me so raunchy. Comedy. Like I said, I love comedy. I love it. And I love it when a modern day comedy like gets it right because not everybody gets it right. The mere fact that they got it right with a bunch of kids. Good Boys, y'all. Oh my God, Good Boys is hilarious. I love every single bit of it. Like who's Molly? Who, who has Molly? Then we're gonna move on to number 71. And like, 
childhood me is like oh my god I can't believe you have this down and I'm not gonna lie I did have it up further up but then like the more and the more I thought about it I was just like I feel like it's more like a nostalgic deal that I have you so far up there. This is a 1988 movie. This movie I was absolutely obs like obsessed with this movie when I was a kid. I rewatched this movie so many times that my other sister literally put on my VHS out of order. But like you know what? Like I am too smart. I ain't too smart for that. Cause I was like lies. And it's until like I rewatched it as an adult. And I, I'm not even gonna lie, it was probably like a couple years ago when I finally realized, because again, when I was younger, I didn't give a fuck who, like, it was just people, right? It was like, I don't care, like, you're gonna be like Leonardo DiCaprio, and like, I don't know, okay? But the mere fact that when I was watching it, and I was just like, has Christopher Lloyd always been in this movie? This is Who Framed Roger Rabbit, y'all, by the way, okay? Like, definitely not a movie that a child should have been watching, but you know, it was different times, right? Because it was, like, very sexual. Like, again, as I said, as an adult, I was just like, oh my god, it's so inappropriate. And then we're going to number 70. Okay, this is where, if I haven't already lost you, if I haven't lost you already, this is definitely where I'm gonna lose you. Is it the greatest franchise ever? No. I know this. Do I still love it? Absolutely. Sue me. I don't care. You let me love what I love, okay? And we're talking about the Twilight Saga New Moon. New Moon is my favorite one. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but New Moon is my favorite because, you know, that's what we got introduced to. Not introduced, right? But that's when we got like hot Jacob happening, okay? Breaking Dawn would be number two. Breaking Dawn part two, sorry, would be my second favorite. And I originally did have both of them on my list, but I was like, no, maybe let's like not do like too much uh, Twilight up in here, okay? But I love, love, like it's definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, spoiler alert, when I do my video for guilty pleasures, this will be on there, okay? I was part of the Twilight fandom. I was like, ah! And I was all about Team Jacob, okay? And if you're Team Edward, we can be friends. Number 69, this is a 2004 movie. This is one movie that has one of like a great reveal there at the end. Like, shit. Dude, you stood there. I mean, you laid there. I mean, yes, you were technically unconscious, but still, you were there, like, in the middle of this dungy-ass room with these people caged and not caged up. Well, they were technically caged up, right? Okay? And, like, simple movie, so much, went on to do this big old franchise, which I also love. Like, it's one of my favorite franchises as well. And it's bloody, it's gory, it's revengeful, it's beautiful. It's not beautiful. I don't know why I say beautiful, but it's be I guess in its way, right? In its own little, like, gory way, it's a beautiful movie. And what movie is this if you haven't guessed it already? This is Saw. And I went ahead and I put the first Saw on here, but we're just gonna, we're gonna cheat, we're gonna say, like, all the Saw movies, because I love all of them, okay? And, like, I'm not kids, we're gonna put, like, all the Twilight movies, because, like, except for Twilight. Like, New Moon on, because I love them all, all of them. But it's okay, we put all the Twilight movies. Number 68, we have Nate. If you are watching, guess what? Guess what? I have a movie here from 1954. Okay, so like, this is my favorite universal monster. I feel like this monster is very underrated because everybody always goes for Dracula, Frankenstein, the mummy, okay? But not really the sea creature and for me this one was definitely the most beautiful it was the best one in my humble little opinion I do have a review on it because this was part of my Thursday Nights of Fright but when I tell y'all when I saw the movie I instantly fell in love I said oh my gatos what is this beauty why do people not seem to talk about this movie more? Like, everybody's obsessed, again, with the other ones. But what about poor little guy from the sea? Don't worry, creature. I got you. I'm all about the sea creatures. Little Mermaid, that's my favorite Disney character. I know everybody's all about uh, Beating the Beast and Lion King. 
the land people um hello there are people in the sea there are things in the sea let's show the sea stuff some love as well but yeah i i think it's just such a beautiful movie i kind of almost wanted to have it up a little bit higher i've only seen it once so i feel like if i do see it more it definitely has a potential to like it has very high potential to like um go up on this list and we go to number 67 which is another classic we have a movie from 1975 it is a classic I may or may not have a review on that I can remember but as always anything that I did review will be listed um down in the description box this is a movie that I didn't go in with really really high expectations but at the same time I kind of did because I wanted to know about this nurse because she's listed as one of like the worst nurses right oh my god evil evil nurse ah ratchet quite honestly I didn't think she was all that bad I was just like okay I don't get it but what I did get was that One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is a great great movie Jack Nicholson and a bunch of other people that I was like hey you and you and you and you this is another one that if I do see more definitely has potential to go up but once again I've only seen it once and it just stuck with me so then we're moving on to number 66 this is a 2004 movie this is also a very very beloved movie um i've only seen this movie a handful of times i did want to rewatch it prior to doing this list because i definitely feel like it needs to be up higher i did have it up higher originally but then as like i was putting more movies on there and the more and more i thought about it honestly i kind of took it off for a while and then i can't put it i think i only took it off once and then i put it back on there and i'm like no because you are a really really great movie but it's been a long time since I've seen it I'm not gonna lie but again it's a movie that has stuck with me. Ariana Grande even uses this movie as reference to her new music video which I really enjoyed. This is one eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Then we're going on to number 65 this is a 2013 movie. Was this one based on a true story? I can't remember if this is based on a true story or not. This is a um, army movie military movie and this is a movie that has one Mark Wahlberg. I love me some Marky Mark. There's some about his movies. It's a charm. It's a charm. They're not for everybody. Uh, but this is Lone Survivor. And I think I cried also with this movie. But there's just so much action happening. They're trying to survive. I don't know what this is. But this is happening. We're going to go to number 64. Which I think is kind of funny that it's right next. Because it's another Marky Mark movie. And I didn't even really realize that they were both. But it's a dozen three movie. There are cars. There are racing. We got Charlize Theron, Theron, whatever. It's a little Cooper Chingaderitas. Wait, are they Coopers? I don't know. Cars? A car? They're cars, y'all. I don't know cars. There's a red one and a blue one and a white one. <laughs> They're stealing gold from Edward Norton. This is the Italian job, y'all. Okay, it's so fun. Number 63 is a beautiful movie. Uh, came on in 2013. This is another movie that was like in and out of my list because I was like, I've only seen it like twice, but I love it. But I'm not sure. I kind of want this other movie on here. Like I don't, I don't know what to do with you. But it has Joaquin Phoenix, and guess what? He is living in the future with the little like AI Scarlett Johansson in his earbud because it's like fancy like AI Chinaderita, and this is her. Moving on to number 62. We're gonna go into space. <sighs> Wait, no. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Picture it, okay? It's 1998. There's this big ass meteor. Okay, where's my hand coming into frame? There's a big ass meteor trying to come into Earth and like squash us, right? NASA's is all like, who you gonna call? And then they're like, oil riggers. <laughs> That's who that's who's gonna save the world Bruce Willis and his bunch of mishaps I cry every single time I watch this movie too Armageddon if you had not already guessed then we're gonna end it we're here at the end 61 this is a 2013 movie that also made me cry when that ending happened y'all when that indie happened let me tell you how i was because my brain was not processing what needed to be processed because i said hold up hold up wait hold up like there was no suspicious things happening there okay like no suspicious all right Eugenio Derbez. 
because he did that. He did that beautiful movie and it was beautiful <laughs> and I loved it and it was funny and it was heartwarming and it was heart-wrenching and that's gonna be instructions not included. Alright guys this is how this 20 list here is uh, looking. Quite different I know than what you guys are normally used to but it's okay y'all it's okay. I mean like y'all getting to know me a little bit more of my likes and that I don't follow the crowd, right? And it's okay if you are the outsider as well. Be the outsider. Join me on the outside. That is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed any of what you saw today, please give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe, share. We are gonna be working our way up to number one, of course. That is it. That's my list. That is the update. That is what's to come. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.